Welcome to this week's edition of Outdoors Online, a weekly webcast produced by the North Dakota Game and Fish Department. I'm your host, Mike Anderson. My guest this week is fisheries biologist Russ Kinsler. Russ, you oversee the salmon program here in North Dakota at Lakes Kakawea. Your crews are busy right now. What's going on? Yeah, every year at the end of September and beginning of October, we start looking for salmon. And then we basically spawn salmon the entire month of October. And by spawning salmon, what I mean is we'll go out in Lake Skakawea with an electro fishing boat and it shocks the salmon. So we'll drive around and shock them and dip them up and collect them and haul them down to the hatchery. Once at the hatchery, we'll spawn them with the assistance of the hatchery personnel. Then they take the eggs and they'll incubate the eggs, hatch the eggs, and actually raise the fish up to a size that we want to stock them out at. This process is very important to the salmon fishery in Lake Sakakawea. Yeah, without us spawning the salmon in a matter of five years, there wouldn't be any salmon left in Lake Sakakawea. They don't naturally spawn up there, so without us doing our part, you know, they would disappear. Okay, what is the goal for eggs this year? Uh, this year we're planning to collect 1.4 million eggs, and that should allow us to raise 400,000 salmon to stock next spring. And we have a lot of challenges this year with the high water. Explain some of those. The lake is, uh, was full this year and it remains full. And in order to get rid of some of that water, they have the spillway gates open. Um, and that was not known to us what, was gonna, what that was gonna do to the salmon spawn because that's one of the areas salmon like to collect. And as of right now, we're, we're kind of struggling to collect salmon on the lake. And we're not sure if that's one of the reason that they're going through the gates or not. Um, we did see an increase this, you know, the beginning of this week. So maybe it's just, a little later run this year and the fish are still coming so um, but the, the catch in the river is made up for it and that might be you know some fish are going through the the spillway or they might have went through it at an earlier stage in their life so explain what's the hatchery do with these salmon over the winter so we bring the fish in to spawn and spawn them with the assistance of the hatchery um, they hatch out the fish and then raise them to the size we request we request and then uh, we'll come in and, and uh, pick them up in may and stock them back in the lake uh, for anglers to catch in a, in a year or so. Okay, I actually put the camera down today and helped you guys net a little bit. Kudos to your fisheries crews for lifting those huge salmon into the boat. Yeah, it's uh, when you start thinking about lifting a, a couple thousand salmon into the boat and they average six pounds, you know, five, six pounds, that starts adding up over the course of a month. So. All right, how are things going so far this year? Considering that we're struggling to catch a few fish in the lake, they're going pretty good. The stream behind us, we're, we're catching a lot more salmon there, and that's why we suspect maybe some of them are going through the spillway. Um, but yeah, the, the river is, is making up for the, the, the slower catch in the lake. We're having a, a better than average catch coming up this stream. So Okay, and we don't stock salmon in the river, is that correct? No, we don't. So the, the salmon that are down here are fish that at some point in their life went through the dam, whether through the powerhouse or through the spillway. And, and that's something that we'll, we, we won't know. I mean, we know fish, even on normal years, go through the powerhouse. So whether all these fish went through when they were younger, or whether it's fish that are getting, as they're mature now, are getting pulled through the spillway, we'll just never know which is really happening. And it's probably a combination of both. Russ, explain, behind us we have a stream where the salmon are swimming into. Explain that whole process. What, what's, you can't really see the stream, there's some vegetation, but there are salmon coming up. Explain that process. Yeah, when salmon are, spawn, they spawn in the stream, and when those fish eggs hatch, the fish imprint on the exact spot where they were hatched. Well, here in North Dakota, that's in the Garrison Dam National Fish Hatchery, so they're imprinting on the water that's in the hatchery. So when they come back as mature fish, they're trying to get back to that spot, so the fish that are located below the dam are following the, the effluent channel, or the discharge channel from the hatchery, up that stream, trying to get back to the hatchery. We have put a block in there and set a trap up so they get to this kettle and we trap them and are able to bring them back into the hatchery and essentially spawn them right where they were born. So we complete that cycle in an artificial sort of way. And it's been a hot spot so far this year. Yeah, this year is probably one of the best years we've ever had for fish coming up this channel. So, so they're returning home. They're returning home. A lot of great information, Russ. Thank you. Thank you. For more information on the salmon program in North Dakota, visit the Game of Fish Department's website at gf.nd.gov. For fisheries biologist Russ Kinsler and the rest of the staff here at the Game of Fish Department, thanks for joining us for this week's Outdoors Online. We'll see you again next week.